Welcome to Colorado Mountain Living. It's Brian, if you don't know me. What's going on, Brian? What's the news so, this week? The news this week is uh, that uh, with more problems with the car, <laughs> brakes in general. The um, front brakes I redid four week, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Not even. It was just like two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, it seemed like it was very recent. Very recent. Anyway, the pads were worn out, and so... As rusted as the undercarriage of this car has been, I decided to do all the rotors, the um, calipers, and everything, along with the pads, because I didn't trust the uh, calipers at all. <clears throat> and most of your, 70% <clears throat> of your stopping power is in the front brakes, and this is the TRD version of the truck, and it's got really heavy-duty brakes in the front, so I wanted to make sure that those were in really good working order. You know, I heard uh, some squeaking, and then not, Three or four days later, it was like more like grinding, uh, particularly from the left wheel. And so, got those all replaced. Um, then, uh, not even a week later, I start here grinding from the, the rear of the car on the right side. And I had just done those calipers and brake pads uh, not even 18 months ago and rotors. Well, so, that sounds like a mess. <laughs> so, we gotta. So, it's not like I have enough to do house yeah hi and, anyway let's show some folks uh what you had to get into over this weekend and yep. uh then we had to go over what it really cost yep. fixing the brakes again ah, mountain life or <laughs> so what happened you're driving it and then I just fixed the front brakes yeah that was a couple weeks ago yeah and I did the rear brakes like 18 months ago they're already worn out it does go up and down the mountain quite a bit yeah but I'm not heavy on the brakes yeah the front brakes were so bad, I don't know if there was a lot of braking on the rear. Okay. And I looked at the left one, right left rear, and it looks like it's leaking. So maybe that one's not braking at all. So while your front brakes were out, maybe it compensated by using more rear brake? Yeah. That's what you're saying? They weren't completely out. Mm -hmm. The front wasn't out. They're just, I don't know. But that one's all wet. If you look at the, you can kind of shoot in from the, the front, you might see it. It's not that wetness? Yeah, it's Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's, you can see this one's not wet. Right, yeah, so it's pretty it's, dry looking. So if it was water, the brakes would heat up enough to dry it off. That's like residual fluid. Yeah. That big clunk of dirt just fell. Yeah. Huh. It's like the bonus of getting to do it in the spring. You get all this extra mud. Okay. Hey. All my tools are still in the box from the last break. <laughs> I was just gonna say, at least you have all your tools handy from a couple weeks ago. It's like a repeat. What does it look like? It's in the big bottom drawer of the toolbox. It's a three quarter inch or half inch extension. It's about that long. Bottom drawer. Okay. okay. I think it's in here. Bottom drawer. Uh, oh, that is what he needs. I don't. I didn't hear what he said. Fat one or, or is this what he needs? Square end, he said. Let's see, these are. I didn't hear what size. I don't know if they're the same. Okay. Oh, 
Yep. Oh, it was two weeks ago where he replaced the rotors for the front brakes. So they're sitting out here underneath the snow. But it was just two weeks ago where he did this job. But that was on the front brakes, and now he's working on the rear brakes. The old kick it off trick. Okay. So. Sure, I replaced the rudders. Yeah. Well, they don't look bad though, the rotors. Yeah, they're kind of scratched up, but probably okay. What is the C clamp uh, compresses the Yeah, it compresses the piston. Piston. You just do it slow, it backs up into the master cylinder. That gets the fluid out? Yeah. Well, it just pushes it back into the reservoir. Yeah. What the heck is that? The remnants of the pad? Yeah, it's the metal part. The metal part? Yeah. So, like, there was no pad left? There's no pad. This one you'll see is no pad. Is this from the other side? No. There's two of them. Oh, there's two. Okay. Right down to the middle. Oh. I see. It's kind of like a carbony layer, is what the pad is. Well, I thought I put ceramic on there. Ceramic. I guess not. That one's got a little pad left. There. Oh. Mm hmm. Not wearing evenly, though. Not wearing evenly. What would cause that? One side's sticking. There's sand and rocks and gravel. Hmm. What are those? These are these little metal clips. Oh. This seems like a lot of them. Well, it's for both sides. Hmm. There's four per side. Oh. That's what they're supposed to look like. Yeah. Is that the grease packet? No. This is inspector grease. <laughs> Dura last last 18 months maybe you didn't get the gold last time maybe you got Dura last bronze <laughs> curious to see what the other side looks like if this side looks so bad <laughs> that side probably wasn't even working <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean this side is probably the grindy metal side this is the grindy metal side oh okay this is the side the Noise is coming from. Yeah, okay. Me too. Oh. Ice cube. Look at that crazy piece of snow. You make your own fun, Vigo. You make your own fun. You playing with your bra your, your ice cube, big snowball? Are you going to be barking in the whole video in the background? So it's the clips that make a. Yeah, because it can't fit the square thing.
snow is melting half as much as we had two weeks ago. What do you want? You want to play? You want to play snowballs? Okay, okay. Okay, this is how we play. Just kick in the snow. You want to play more? <laughs> Too excited. You want to play more snowballs? Okay. <laughs> it's just snow and it's just ice. Oh my gosh, you're too crazy face. Slides on those bolts right there. Hmm. So, you guys, you just didn't remember taking it apart before? When you did the brakes? Yeah, I didn't take it apart because it was brand new. Curse my way through. <laughs> so you just have to remember it uh, goes in easier if you take them, split them apart. Yeah, way easier. Especially with these stupid clips. Mm -hmm. It just seems so tight. Uh -huh. I don't know how it, it works at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be loose enough to float to move. Right. Guess we have to take it for a test, test drive for sure. Oh good, wheel back on. Everything's good, right? <laughs> okay, there's the second side. This is the one that had the leak problem. So what's the story? What did you discover? The brake pads aren't worn at all. I suspect it doesn't, it was leaking from day one. Huh. There's, I don't know if it has anything to do with it. There's a little hole right there in the seal. And it's all wet right around it. So I wonder if it just leaked right out of there. So how would you go about fixing that? I just take the butt get a new caliper. New caliper. New caliper? Yeah. So it's inside the caliper, it's not the rote head. Well, it's any... probably the seals in it's it's the seals in the caliper probably. Mm-hmm. You buy the caliper, all the seals all put together. It's all brand new. Mm -hmm. They're reconditioned. They, you get a core charge for returning these, so they charge you like hundred bucks mm -hmm. for the caliper. But then when you take back the old one, you get credit like thirty bucks. Or oh, I thought it was the rotors. You got no. Oh, <laughs> that's why. That's why they're still lying in the snow over there. <laughs> Just the calipers. Okay. So you don't have to change the pads. You just put the tire back on and go get new calipers. Yeah. <laughs> different job for a different day. Yeah. Never had that break for a year. So you're not even missing 18 it. Months. 18 months without that one working. Yeah. That's so, why that one's so worn out probably. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Then the car stops. <laughs> Yeah. I think one leak doesn't make the car fail. Yeah, that's nice. Good thing you have front brakes to wear down. Yeah. Well, most of your 70% of your stopping power is in the front anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Too bad when you get your tires re replaced, they don't say, hey, something's really leaking in here. <laughs> you have to have a special relationship with like a special mechanic to keep you updated on your car. Hey! hey. Enough. You're dragging the tools away, you blockhead. Get off of that. Okay, so, what do you got there in your hand? Looks like a brand new P8 part. A brand new rear driver's side caliper for the brakes. Uh, I I've this... replaced these October 2017. So, everybody wants to know what did this set us back? So, <laughs> lifetime warranty on the calipers. So it's, it was free. So all I had to do was pay for new pads. And How much are pads these days? I think I got the ceramic. I put ceramic pads on this time. I think they're like 30, maybe $50. Mm -hmm. But the ceramic pads have lifetime warranty now. So this, when they wear out, I can take them back to AutoZone mm -hmm. and get new pads. So 
And I can't remember if I bought new ceramic pads the last time, and I, they don't have it logged in at AutoZone that I did, so and I don't have the receipt. So. Hmm. Anyway. Well, at least they were cool about having you be able to get the new calipers and everything without yeah and having that receipt and the what other was also was cool i i bought the front rotors and all the parts there from uh advanced auto oh it took me five months before i actually changed them out i didn't have the receipt anymore but they still gave me the the core charge mm -hmm. which is uh which is like 150 dollars hmm. for the two of them so um, that's pretty significant cool well we know what you're up to this weekend <laughs> but this will be this is pretty easy to do so okay two bolts right there <laughs> yeah all right well at least it wasn't a three thousand dollar mini cooper engine repair no no <laughs> and what else we got some other projects this weekend we got you just stone, picked up some stone in the fireplace yep do that and then um, ordering some more parts and pieces for the railings too yep, yep. yeah a uh, couple naps i think naps <laughs> bike ride if uh weather holds out <laughs> yeah definitely. or maybe skiing we had to keep a good eye on the weather yeah but so, anyway. cool so thanks for watching see you at the next one guys mm -hmm.